Okay, today we're going to be talking about exponents. Um, and in particular, two goals for the exponents are going to be uh, writing them in expanded form and simplifying. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, before we can go too far, um, I do want you to note uh, the different parts of the exponent. So this is written as um, 2 to the 4th power. And we say it as 2 to the 4th power, or if this would be a 5, it would be 2 to the 5th power. Um, 2 is going to be our base number, and 4 is going to be our exponent. Okay? So it's important to know the a little bit of the vocab there. Um, your exponent, also known as your power, is going to tell us how many times to multiply that base together. So, for example, if it's 2 to the 4th power, it's telling us we're going to have to have 4 2s in that we use the multiple or the property of um, or the operation of multiplication. So 2 to the fourth power is the same as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which would be the same as 16. Because 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. So now if we look at some examples, what they're asking for us first is just to simplify. When they say to simplify it, that means we need to know what the value of 4 to the 4th power is. Another word for this might be evaluate or solve. So 4 to the 4th power would be the same as 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. If we do 4 times 4, we get 16. If we do 4 times 4 here, we'll also get 16. And so really what we're doing is 16 times 16, which is 256. So therefore, we've got 4 to the 4th power equals 256. Let's try 7 to the 3rd power. Well, that's the same as 7 times 7 times 7. 7 times 7 gives us 49, times our final 7 will give us 343, because 49 times 7 is 343. So now we know 7 to the 3rd power, or the power of 3, is 343. Finally, C to the ninth, or excuse me, C, 19 to the 1st power, that means we're going to write 19 one time. So 19 to the first power is just 19. Now let's practice writing these in expanded form. Um, writing it in expanded form really is just doing the exact same thing that we did here. When they ask you to write things in expanded form, all they're saying is rewrite it so that it's all the way out here. So that 3 to the third is seen as 3 times 3 times 3 which would give us 27. Or 6 to the second power is 6 times 6. That's it written in expanded form, and it gives us 36. And then finally, 14 to the first power, this is actually it in expanded form, which still just gives us 14. Okay, one last thing that I want you to make note of. I understand that you don't have these uh, this slide, but I do want you to make note on your notes that I gave you um, that anything to the zero power um, is going to be 1. And so it doesn't matter if it's 6 to the zero power, it equals 1. 10 to the zero power still equals 1. 19 to the zero power, also 1. You could have 1 million to the zero power, and you're still only going to get one. Um, this is kind of tricky because um, our mind tends to naturally think that anything to the zero power would be zero, uh, but that's just not true. Anything to the zero power is actually one. Okay? Now, for the remaining, this is a short video, so it should have been short notes for you, and this should be pretty good review for you. Um, and so what I would like you to do, you should have these problems. I'd like you to uh, work backwards. They gave these to you um, in expanded form, and I would like you to write them 
in exponential form. So your base will be 2, and then you're going to tell me what power goes up here. And then I want you to simplify that or evaluate it and give me what the actual answer is. If you could do that for these five problems and bring them in tomorrow, that'd be great. Thank you, and see you then.